Hey, yo, what is going on with her once again? Bros, women, bronies, and packs sisters, and of course, I'll talk with Nikki Komodis out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys invest in intros and outros towards this channel. And um, anything the music you're hearing in the background today you're gonna, is going to be from Legion Ivory and um, Pipe Vein. So, shout out to both those guys for making this beautiful remix as a, of um, Pokemon Sun and Moon Trainer Battle, or I think it was the Totem Battle. Where you fight the boss Pokemon or whatever in your journey through the Sun and Moon games. And uh, speaking of which, I know E3 is right around the corner. So hopefully we get some updates on uh, either. It's more than likely it's probably just going to be a Pokemon spin-off game. Because like, the last like side spin-off like, application game you get on your phone that Pokemon came up with was earlier this May. Which was um, the Shiny Magikarp Jump. Nothing really special. That's like the last news we got that was Pokemon related. Other than that, it's been pretty dry and barren. But what do you expect? Other than that, I'm going to be um, giving all these free codes away at the end of the video. So if you stick with me to the end of this video, this is only half of it. I was going to wait till I had 800 subscribers. I'm about 761 the last time I checked. So um, I'm just going to give half of them away early. The other half I'll do in another TCG opening. I'm doing this on like a Saturday night. So if it's a little bit pitch black out there, I apologize for the lighting. I was going to do this earlier when the sun was a little bit higher. But I just got back from work too, like an hour ago. So I'm real tired of shit. So... I really want to open the mega camera up one that I saw at my local Walmart, but um, that thing was almost 40 bucks and that was like an arm and a leg for me, so it was way too expensive, so I got the cheaper one that was like $15, but it's really 17 bucks with tax. So this one's called a Mimikyu, Mimikyu Collector Pin. It's not really my top 10 favorite Pokemon, it's probably like top 20. Obviously I got it for this beautiful sexy looking collector's pin. I still want to know what the fuck is under this gown, man, honestly. It's probably some ugly little piece of crap like fucking Carbink or something. Or Trubbish. I don't know. So uh, I guess I'll read the back real quick. So it says... I'm not sure if you guys can read it, but I can. There we go. Now you guys can just pause the video, but uh, I'll read it for myself. So it says, Lonely little Pokemon Mimikyu dressed up as a Pikachu because he wants to... What was it called? Um, he wants to make lots of new friends. Like you. With the new Mimikyu pen collection, you get Mimikyu's both both as a fun collector's pen and as a totally new, interesting disguise, disguise foil promo card. Take this crafty little road to victory with the Mimikyu. So it says Pokemon TCG Mimikyu comes with. I'm going to read this off screen because it's real small shit, the words. So it says, there we go. It says, a never before seen foil, foil promo featuring Mimikyu. A collector's pin featuring Mimikyu, and then three Pokemon TCG booster packs, and then of course a code card for the Pokemon TCG trading trading card game online. I was originally gonna open this, and then like it was another thing I was really really hyped as fuck for. Has nothing to do with Nintendo at all. It has it has to do with their other competitor, Sony, because um, Vicarious Visions. If any people don't know, I was a '90s kid growing up in the day, so obviously I'm old as fuck now. I'm like 28, but I still don't give a shit. I absolutely love. All this nostalgia shit brings with a lot of my childhood and teen years. More fun-ass times from the past. You know, just reminisce and, you know, laugh. Laugh at a lot of awesome-ass times I had with my friends at that time. Even though it was almost six, seven years ago, but still. Fun-ass times, if I do say so myself. But yeah, um, obviously, um, like I was saying, Vicarious Visions and Activision, and of course Sony and Naughty Dog, finally decided to release the Crash Bandicoot games. They released it, um... They're not Amiibos, but they released these, like, oh, what the fuck are they called? Fuck, I forgot the name of it, but um, it was Crash Bandicoot figurines. I think they're the same ones that made the Skylanders figurines. Obviously, I never really gave a shit about Skylanders. Those, they completely destroyed Spyro the Dragon's look, obviously, really, really badly. But for the younger generation out there, my little millennials, um, not that all of you are stupid-ass pieces of shit. Some of you are cool. Some of you are fucking assholes. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to generalize you all. Or age discrimination, because I'm Generation Y.2. But, um, I will say this. Um, Spyro the Jackin did not come from fucking, um, Skylanders. He was around way before, um, Skylanders was around. I'm just saying, way back in 1998. So, yeah, just, just brush up on your, um, music history. Not music history. Video gaming industry history. Same people, Insomniac Studios, that made Ratchet and Clank, which is still extremely prevalent to this day. That and, I guess, Sly Cooper. I really want to see the Sly Cooper movie when it comes out. I'm hyped as fuck for that. Hopefully they do do it just as much good and justice as they did with um, the Ratchet and Clank movie last year. So, um, fingers fucking crossed that it actually works. 
And uh, yeah, so it says all that. Let's get into this unboxing, the most favorite part of every fucking poke tuber out there that does TCG, especially the main four that I watch. Maybe, actually, maybe five, which was, um, used to be, um, what's her name? Super Duper Dana, I used to watch before I stopped watching her. Water and Grass, I still watch. And then there was this other chick, I forgot her name. It's a really beautiful hot Hawaiian chick. Damn, what the hell is her fucking name? I think her name was Mimi. I think that's what her, one of her name was, but like, Pokemon Excavation, I still watch her. Candy Evie, obviously, I watch her a couple times. AKA Lucy from the United Kingdom. That, that chick says, Hello everyone, this is Candy Evie here. And I'm back with another unboxing video. You know, that, that chick. You know, she comes here to the United States a couple times. And then on uh, two other people, Primetime Pokemon and Ando and Listedly. Those are probably like the only five Pokemon TCG people that I open. That I open. <laughs> that sounded wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Let me rewind that back. Those are only five Pokemon, Pokemon YouTubers. Pokemon PokeTubers. Sometimes that they do either Let's Plays or Twitch live streams or whatever. I only look at the shiny hunts that much. I watch highlights of it, but I don't actually go into live streams. So I'm going to um, take the code card out. That one I'm going to keep for myself because, I mean, I'm not going to collect it for the TCG. I'm just going to collect it, use it for um, another maybe 900 subscribers if I ever get up that high. Let's open this bad boy first. Here we fucking go. The two biggest things right here. You can't really see the hollow foil that well. Holy shit, you can barely see it at all. Let me turn my light on really quick because it's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. I apologize for the lighting. If it's really shit, um, that's on my fault. <laughs> Not you guys' fault. You don't have to adjust your brightness or contrast your TV screen. So there it goes. I know it's a little warped, unfortunately, but that's how a lot of them... Um, those are, there was like eight of these, so I just decided to get one. I didn't want to get all of them, because, you know, I'm not balling out out of control like that. So it's two abilities are, abilities, it's tax, are haunt and astonish. Okay, so astonish is an official move. Haunt is some TCG move that may or may not get changed in the Generation 8 games for Pokemon. Whoever knows. Only time will tell. I love the fucking sparkles on these hollow promos. That's why I absolutely adore the shit. Out of these absolutely amazing hollow foil cars. I wish at the original like Sun and Moon TCG packs were like this. And Gen 6 too. And there goes the side and the back of these. And of course the fucking highlight of this thing. Absolutely beautiful, marvelous, beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, spectacular looking bad boy here. There goes the Mimikyu pen and it's all of its glory. Oh my god this thing. It, it looks haunted but it's fucking adorable. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. Come on. Come on, smart camera. Fucking work. And if I do this, I don't know. Oh, you can see all the Pokemon Pokeballs in the background. And of course, this is a thing for safety hazards just in case your children are opening these. So parents out there, if you're watching, be very careful with that part. It's extremely dangerous. Uh, that's like the highest definition quality I can give it to you. So yeah, I'll leave that in the back over there. I want to use like my Game Boy Advance some. <clears throat> That old one that broke a long time ago. My cover cartridge, um, little Game Boy Advance handheld system to hold those, but I couldn't find it nowhere. Plus, it was getting real, real dark out. Oh, there's a fucking Fates Collide thing in here? Oh, hell yeah. This one treated me really good. So we're going with oldest to newest here. These two Sun and Moon packs, those six later. I'll fit those for later. And then I might open Guardians Rising. I was going to get those, but there weren't that many left. There was only one out of, like, a thousand of them in there. I don't know. So, let's... Play the other um, <clears throat> Pokemon TCG remix. Remix? What the fuck am I saying? I can't even goddamn fucking talk. Hold on. Uh, Pipe Veins. Where is he at? Ugh, I'm trying to find him. Poke Isle. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Oh, there's Orchestrate it. Battle Totem Pokemon. No, that's not it either. Oh, here it is. Pokemon Battle Orchestral versus Totem Pokemon. This one's from Pipe Bank, so shout out to him for making that. Give him a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to that man's channel because this freaking Pokemon music remix is absolutely marvelous, spectacular, and perfect in every shape, way, and form. So, 3, 2, 1, let's get that in. Hopefully it works. Alright, there we go. Alright, so Fates Collide. Here it is. This one that's sexy, beautiful Brexon right there. Or Brexon. Or Brexon Delphox. 
Alright, so uh, I'll give these code cars away. Hopefully you're able to see that. So yeah, one, two, three, rear reverse. If I get anything from here, I'd be extremely surprised. First one up is a Larvitar. Weird looking fan art there. Volibee. Burmy. Real smooth, beautiful, elegant orchestral remix there. Even better in Glitch Act City. Nothing against Courtney, but this guy is a little bit better. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. My own personal opinion. And the next one up is Coughing. Meowth. Old Air. I haven't seen this one in a long time. Old Amber Aerodactyl. Ultra Ball. And Servine. Let's see. Oh, reverse is. Oh! <laughs> great Goku's KO Han and Great Sasuke Uchiha Zidori. We got something good back there. Oh shit. Dome Fossil Kabuto is a rare uncommon. And Alakazam Fuller. Damn, that looks sexy as fuck. Woo! Yes, let's go. It's been about like a year and a half the last time I got a full art, man. I think it was either Zekrom or the Reshiram, um, Black Camera, White Camera, or Zekrom or Reshiram. It's one of those four that I got a really good-ass car. So that's beautiful. Yes! Oh, I'm super excited. I'm so hyped. If we don't get nothing in these two, I would like the Rainbow Radiant car for, like, either Primarina or, um, not Cat, but the other one. I can't believe I fuck up his name so many times. Incineroar. There we go. And those two, I would love to get that. I don't really care about the Tapu Guardians except for Tapu Fini. I can't wait till they make a figurine of that. So, one, two, three. Rare Reverse. And I think that one's the energy, because there's 11 cards in here instead of 10. So, first son up. One up we got is Rattata, a Lolan Rattata, or a Lolan, <laughs> as I like to fuck around with the name sometimes, I don't know why. Sandile, um, Picky Peck, I tried to get that as a shiny, I fucking killed it by accident. Um, Spiro, Fomantis, I love Lorantis, that is fucking bay as hell, I love her, the duh. Crocodile, there we go. Pelipir, and Experience Share. Okay. My reverse is... Hold on. I don't know if that's an uncommon or a rare, but Cloyster. I think I got this one as a shiny in Sun and Moon through Wonder Trade. Didn't get it myself. So there's no way in hell I'm doing that. And the regular rare, unfortunately, yeah. Decidueye. That's trash. So, last but not least is this one right here. Let me play another music theme for you guys. Trying to find other music themes I could play because I don't want it to sound dull and boring as fuck and just hear my voice all day as lovely and awesome as my voice sounds. <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm blabbering too fucking much. This one is called Pokemon Battle Orchestrated versus the Island Kahunas. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. I didn't mean that in the Undertale reference either. Alright. Last but not least, there's that code card. I don't know if I showed the other one off, so I apologize if I didn't. One, two, three, rare reverse. Hopefully there's something smooth in here, and if not, hey, I'll even take a hollow. I don't even care. I don't want that to be upside down. <laughs> I don't know why in the fuck that happened. So we got a uh, Dewpiter first. That's this shiny version for that, and the Rackman looks awesome. All right, Meowth, Alola Meowth. I actually got this less than a half hour. I think it like, only took 200 turns for me to get this as shiny. Growlithe, Rog and Rolla, there we go, uh, Cosmog, I don't have him yet, Alolan Persian, I'm surprised that wasn't a rare reverse, let's see, uh, Brion, and Rare Candy, let's see, the reverse is just plain old ordinary wishy washy, I like the school form for this, this is another Pokemon, I unfortunately failed in Sun and Moon when I was trying to shiny hunt him, and the regular rare is Lancer. It sucks. Damn. I only got a water energy. I love the crap out of this Pokemon a lot. It's one of my favorite top tens for Johto. So I'll still put him in the back anyways. Because favoritism, even though it's a regular rare, it's still decent. So we did really fucking good in this box. Obviously the highlight of this thing. Besides, you know, <laughs> this really cool ass looking Mimikyu pin. Was um, the Alakazam Full Art. My god, that thing is sexy as hell. I wish it would have been Mega Alakazam, but I will totally put that shit in the sleeve once I wrap this video up. And of course, that beautiful Hollow promo on Mimikyu. And one of my favorite old school Kenzo Pokemon, Lantern. Fun fact, I got a backstory for this. 
I actually did catch an original shiny Chin Chow way back in my gold, silver, crystal days when I was still like a late 90s, early 2000s kid. So this Pokemon holds a beautiful, special place in my heart. I love this thing. It's adorable as fuck, and I loved her in the anime. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm done here. Oh, and links to the description box down below. Card titles on the side if any people want to listen to the rest of Legion Ivory's and um, Pipe Veins' um, Pokemon music remixes. And they also do other Nintendo, Sony, and Xbox um, game remixes as well. So definitely give them a like for sure. They bust their ass making all these beautiful, amazing orchestral remixes. So they definitely give credit where credit is due. And that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and peg sisters. We'll talk to Nikki Komodis out there. I will see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink small weed at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be do yourself. Peace out. My sauerkraut. I'm gone again. A lot of your stay tuned. More future content. Channel safe. More updates. And of course, as always, people. Stay safe, everyone. Of course, stay tuned for more future content, commentary, and vlogs on this channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC Gaming News, and of course, on this side of the room back here is um, where I do my anime otaku related and video game related um, journalistic review, um, reaction review segments, not reaction review segments, Ugh. Um, article session reviews, readings, and journalistic reviews, and all that shit. And of course, behind me on the back side of the room is where I do my over hype reaction review segments for. Um, Anything that's MLP and Pokemon fan animated related over hype reaction review segments. And of course, as always, my Marvel DC <clears throat> Marvel DC the uh, the music unfortunately fucked me over. <laughs> um Action Comedy movies, there we go. And of course, last but not least, um my anime otaku related and video game related trade um regular trailer reaction review segments as well. And last but not least, my video responses and my rants. Peace out, ladies, and goodbye. I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace out, ladies, and I'll see you guys next time. And um, good luck on your shiny hunts if any people are shiny hunting out there. And um, absolutely beautiful, tremendous Alakazam um, card. Beautiful. If it would have been Mega Alakazam, I could have sold that for like 20, 50 bucks on eBay, Amazon. Just clearly um, with ease. Peace out, ladies, and goodbye. And um, hopefully we get to see what this thing's under the skirt because um, there's nothing there. <laughs> Those Pokeball things, though, man, that's cool. It looks like the secret rare version of um, the Ultra Ball, the rare candy um, secret rare edition card. It's extremely hard to pull. So um, good luck on all your hunts and um, keep fucking training, people. Peace the hell out. Laters, I'm gone and getting the hell out of here. Take care and goodbye. And um, good luck on um, getting a good ass box like I did because I got lucky as hell. I struck gold with this bad boy immediately. I'm blabbering now. See you guys next time and goodbye.